Good morning, folks. Starting with the first X-ray image of Comet Ice on here. It's on the CIOC page. Latest K image on BruceGary.net is terrific but shows no comma structure. K's telescope is the biggest of the website trio at 32 inches. Ice is supposed to be returning up north, but now the Arctic is unable to gain anything at all. It's partially related to Alaska's record hottest October, now finally influencing the sea ice charts, and also reminding me that October's State of the Climate report is out for the U.S. Gotta check those links when they're posted. Now October as a whole was colder than average for the continental U.S. While parts of the northeast were at or even above average, they were way, way below out to the west. November's already shifted that with heat waves on the west coast and cold to the east. I also recommend checking out the deviations from precip norms. Kicking it to the boys, got one in event mode near New Zealand. I'm guessing that data is an error, but any Kiwis who happen to catch sight of a 70 foot wave, please let me know. Sticking right there for perspective, a southern clockwise low. Remember, we're switched in the south, but storms still follow the leading east convergence. Up north, low spin counterclockwise like here in the Mediterranean. This one's played a rough role here for a while now. To the north, we see the next low ready to crest into the UK. High pressure is the name of the game in the US, blocking precipitation from that area while influencing the leading line on the cresting low that just came ashore and makes snow and rain out west today. We are now a full week without a gamma ray burst on Sonoma. Three days since the last X flare and nearly two since an M flare. While the solar shutdown expressed itself once more, the sunspots look ready to challenge that standard. I see multiple Delta candidates, and beyond that, Zurich class F region with complex morphology, complemented up north by an umbra of phenomenal size, and with backside development. I'm in wait and see mode. Solar wind density and speed have been dropping consistently. The regained smooth curves on the sensitive metric show stability is returning to our magnetic shield. Not so on our star, umbral and coronal fields added again all over the place. Here's what that looked like diagnosing the solar wind speed from the coronal holes. You can see the northern magnetics have taken the top spot back from the south and are strengthening still. Beyond that, the coronal holes directly facing Earth today. Yesterday we saw the 6.6 in Russia. This morning we see another shake not far away. USGS took the lowest of the readings, but RSOE has it as a 6.1. The Atlantic Ocean rumbling with a sidebar in Greece moved their party way, way south last night while I slept. The only CME of significance yesterday is heading right at Comet Ison. I see almost no way it misses her tomorrow. Shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear, it's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.